guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm just going to be working on my new steamroller. But before that, I just want to show you my traction engine, my steam tractor, I should say. So this is the, my first model. I'll leave a link in the description um, to to this video uh, on how I built uh, when I built this one. So this is my first engine, uh, steam engine I've built, uh, st model, and uh, yeah, completely made by myself, and wheels and everything. All made, and I named it Pioneer because of its, you know, its first steam engine ever made, and uh, that was pretty fitting. And uh, so yeah, I've. Uh, if you want to go check that out, go down link in the description. But on today's video, we're making its counterpart. As you can see, I've already made the wheels. They're made just the way that these ones were. Uh, so they're in. They're, that outer rim is one piece. Then there's an inner rim. And, uh, and then there's there are washers, and then there's the spokes are all individually cut out and glued from the inner axle to the to the washers. So yeah, there's a nice bit of making in the wheels. There's eight spokes on each. Front wheels are made the same, just smaller scaled, and uh, that's what hopefully what these wheels will look like. Except these ones are not going to have the treads because this is an agricultural uh, traction engine. So that's why it has the treaded tires. This one's for the road because this is going to be a steamroller. So there's the wheels anyway. So I've already the main roller made. Uh, usually, in real life, these it's not actually one full uh, uh, piece. It's actually be two separate ones, and because of the differentials on the front. But for the case of this model, I'm just going to leave the tire as one, so there'll be no difference. Um, then have these inner. These are the inner. Uh, rims, so these will be cut and they, they will slot in here, and they will, and then the spokes, just like this one, were here, and will end up with a front axle. But yeah, that's the boiler. It's pretty big. It has something similar to to this one. It's not going to be. It's going to actually be back here, so because to make way for the roller, because it's kind of a, like a neck piece that comes out here to the top, top of the axle. It'll be kind of like a two forks either side that comes up from the two roll the front roller connects to the boiler and then there'll be a big square box which where which will contain the the firebox and the water tank and to the back like my traction engine to be a coal bunker and then this one's going to have a canopy as well it's going to have a canopy piece it's going to have a funnel going up the top and uh, a smaller flywheel but uh, yeah we'll we'll get into it and uh, yeah See you in a bit. Bingo, straight through. Now, I'm going to try and put a pin in that, and then I'm going to see if it'll support the wheel, a wheel. That is hot. That's on fire. So, as you can see, I'm just putting a threaded uh, screw through it. That works pretty good. Good, strong uh, axle. Yes, I know it's not level on it. The wheels do need a little bit of work. They're not exactly uh, bulletproof yet, um, but uh, yeah, that's going in the right direction. So I'll just have to drill the other side and uh, get uh, another clip on the other, far the other side, and then it'll be an axle. So as you can see, the front wheel, front uh, roller, is going on very nicely. And now, glue on a few more parts, and uh, yeah. So guys, as you can see, I'm nearly finished construction on my steamroller. Not to get getting on very well. I had a couple of diff different modifications done to it since since uh, you last seen it. Last installment. As you can see, I fitted on the, the canopy piece. Now this is all able to come off and I can disassemble the engine for painting. So yeah, it's 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 um it's gonna be a bit more different paints uh, on, on this compared to um the tractor but yeah it's, it's coming together very really nice all the, the back coal bunker fitted now I've uh, got all the important tow bar wheel great job I shortened it and it looks a lot better and I have a set of uh, dirty beer caps on either side um, the single cylinder to the front I did modify it I um, ended up making Cutting these plates in half and making two separate side plates 
and then I made a new a longer length screw going up through the top put the crown piece on it so there'll be two brass pieces coming out here two actual bullets and they'll they look like headlights for the front side you can see the cylinder or the, the cylinder there you can see the crankshaft that all works um, it's not as complicated as the other one it's a bit more simple it's all the one crank shaft this is the crank and crankshaft in action it does work it's a bit of making in that because it's not as easy as it looks but uh and then i'll fit refit the flywheel but yeah she's coming on very well now i'm going to start disassembling it um it, luckily enough i'll uh, show it disassembled and uh, we'll start painting it up so yeah enjoy Steamroller, it's finally finished, and I've put in my nameplate. I've christened it Fred Dibner. It was a steeple jack who worked from both. He was born and born in Bolton, and he had a thing, two loves, uh, chimneys, and steam engines. So he had two steam engines. Um, he had first he had a steamroller named it was same engine. He restored that. It took him fifteen years. He bought it as a wreck and then after he finished his steamroller he bought a tractor uh, both were uh, Evelyn and Port Porter engines um, the tractor took him over 30 years to restore and he got to enjoy it but then he and he, he got to s live out to see actually see and, and enjoy the engine before his death in 2004 but he's he's met he's of the the joys of steam and I I I've always ca I found him on YouTube like like you find a lot of things and uh, his documentaries are there you can go watch them um just type in Fred Dibna and you will get steeplejacking he's several documentaries from his early days and how he knocked down chimneys until it was late traveled all over Britain doing all sorts of documentaries from steam to industries um, that have long gone and uh, yeah he was loved by many and still is and he's uh, sadly missed he named um, the steamroller after uh, Betsy after his, his mother but he never actually got around to naming his steamroller as the Avalon tractor or just the tractor uh, but since it's been so it was sold on to its present owners or its suspected owner uh he's went ahead and named it Fred after Fred Dibna, which I think is very fitting and uh I did always intend to make a steamroller along with the tractor, and I said I'm definitely gonna name it Fred Dibna not um so this engine this steamroller it's not it was not meant to look like his his one. It was I was I always did intend to make a steamroller, but I didn't. So his one was slightly different compared to this one, but it doesn't take away the fact. And I said I would like to 
christen it Fred Dibner in his memory. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I just have it lined up beside my tractor. Um, so where we're going from here. So we've a couple of more things planned. Um, I don't know when some of the videos, videos are coming out. It just depends when it's happening. Um, but there's some interesting things coming, coming down the line. Uh, steam engine that I'm going to make. It's going to be a industrial engine with a front crane on the front of it. Um, I don't know when they're going to get have that out. Also, I'm going to have to make a, tra a trailer for one of these. It'll be just a simple trailer. Um, because the two of them have drawbars, they can pull a trailer. It'd be nice to have have that as well. And um, stay tuned because I'm working on the Fire Marshal 100 tractor. That's almost finished. She's painted up. It's just I just have to put it back together and uh, put all the details into it and. She got job, uh, jobs a good one. So yeah, hey guys, well thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you're not, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.